We know we won marriage, and CLR was there. Obviously, that was an enormous high water mark for us institutionally. And we also knew that once we won marriage, we were then going to be facing the inevitable backlash. And that is what we are in right now. We have to find a way to meet this backlash, to beat back the worst of these laws, and to assure that our entire community is protected not just on marriage, but on living their lives openly and authentically as LGBT people. Nonprofits are almost forced into this perspective that we really should take what we can get or that we need an incremental approach. And so it's really important that we, as feminist organizations, lead with our vision of what the world should be, not what we can get. And I think that NCLR has done that, and that's why it's such a great sister in this fight for equality. What I admire most about NCLR is its excitement about other movements. Issues aren't siloed, and that organizations, therefore, shouldn't be siloed. The best work that we can do is when we can do it across those silos and with each other. NCLR has been with transgender people from day one. I'll be working on an issue here in the city of San Francisco, you know, jails or bathrooms. Everybody's working on bathrooms, you know, but here in the city of San Francisco and I go to a meeting and bingo, where'd they come from? It's NCLR's in the meeting. So they're, in, they're in the trenches. Showing up, being there for everybody, being in the places for the most vulnerable, that's about demonstrating that you walk the talk of justice when you belong to a number of different identities. You know, if you're queer, if you're of color, if you're an immigrant, or if you've been imprisoned, what it does is it makes you that much more vulnerable. And when you leave behind those who are facing worse experiences at the intersection of race and class and, and sexual orientation, you are really making all of us vulnerable for that backlash, for that, for that step back. And so it's really important that an organization like NCLR um, addresses all these different things. NCLR knows the issues. Sometimes they develop the issues, sometimes they even discover the issues. I just love being a supporter of NCLR and I feel like it's really important to our work at Equal Rights Advocates that we're those kinds of organizations. It's not just about the first legal fight, it's not just about marriage equality at the Supreme Court, it is about Will you be an organization that can follow through on what it takes for cultural transformation? And if we can make this nation safe for a transgender woman of color living in a rural area of the country, lesbians are going to be just fine. We do our best work by not only prioritizing a feminist voice and lens, but by understanding that that requires capturing everyone else in the line of sight and making sure that everyone moves forward.